Hey, 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 fam. Time for another out of this world story from our space. My wife cheated on me, but my wife, 31, and I, 31, have been in a wonderful relationship. We are madly in love with each other and have grown together for the past eight years. She's always been a lightweight drinker. She's petite, and it came on full display this past weekend. I dropped her off at a Claw Visage pool party for Bachelorette. She took four shots with her friends at her house before. I dropped her off at 12.30 and was in contact with her until 3-ish. I had the husband's boyfriends over during the party. Around 7 p.m. the girls called and couldn't find her as they were leaving. They searched everywhere. I was forced to panic and call the cops when she wouldn't answer anyone's calls since 6.30. She walked into the house around 8 p.m. For the record, social media postings showed tons of drinking and wild behavior from the party. So what happened? I was so happy she was okay. But all I knew is she went missing from the group, so I was upset thinking the worst. She said she lost her phone and couldn't find the group, so she asked a guy for a ride. With the time she arrived and when she was last seen, the story checks out, later confirmed by eyewitness. She admits she was very drunk and doesn't remember much. The guys decide to move over to our neighbor's house where the other girls from the party were at. There was also a weird vibe from the guys. We arrive at the other house where my wife was confronted, saying there was a rumor that she made out with three guys. The girls pull her into the other room and try to confirm the story, but it was hearsay from another girl. I, at the time, was sitting in a room with the guys having no idea what was going on. We leave, and she tells me about the rumor, but says she doesn't remember. Needless to say, by far the most soul-crushing thing I've ever heard. I was very angry and very upset. We cried together all night. She was so upset and told her friends I wouldn't tolerate the behavior, and this will end her marriage. Yes, I think flirting is bad. The stories changed the next morning to none of the girls seeing a kiss. She was crying all day, so I gathered what I knew from the groom. He said something definitely happened, and he gathered a range from extremely flirtatious with multiple guys, holding hands, being all over a guy, and kissing someone. All turned out to be true. At this point, I'm in a trauma-like state. I couldn't think clearly. The guy she flirted with the most was reached out to by one of the girls, and he confirmed they only kissed a couple times and didn't make out. I still questioned what truly happened and if there was more with others. I'm pretty torn right now. Our relationship seemed too good to be true. There has been a history of her getting blacked out, but rarely has that affected our relationship. Most of the time, myself or friends were with her. I obviously love her and care for her and her well-being. But I find this behavior very odd, and it had to have lasted up to three hours. Which she claims she barely remembers. She's been grieving, and I've been a mess. Everyone is rooting for us, but I think a line has been crossed where I may not be the same husband. It's still fresh, so I can't say I'll forgive her. But I know trust is going to be a major issue moving forward. She promised to never drink again and never talk to another man when I'm not present. I don't really want that. It might help. But the truth is, we're both struggling and I believe my perfect marriage is now ruined. I'm trying to work through this with her. But I have no idea if I'm making a mistake or if our marriage will be the same. Thoughts? No comments from the community today on that one. So, let us know what you think. I'm gonna keep going. Wife is having an emotional affair and I feel like I finally see her true self. This will mostly be a rant, but any advice is more than welcome. After being with my wife for half of my life, I can't understand why she behaves the way she does. We have obviously been together for a long time and since a young age, so changing into different people was always likely, if not inevitable. I know I will have to work to establish what my identity is without her and figure out the logistics of living alone, but those challenges don't distress me. In fact, I'm looking forward to them. What hurts is how blatantly selfish she has become. I admit I have had my faults in the relationship, most a tendency to be too controlling with budgeting. But I have always been willing to talk, admit when I'm wrong, and work to fix those faults. I don't yell and try to see her perspective no matter what happens. She just pretends problems don't exist until I stir the conversation. I used to think this was simply because she wanted to avoid confrontation, either because of how she used to hide stuff from her parents as a teenager, or because I made myself seem unapproachable. I now think it's because she prefers to have her cake and eat it too. She is an exceptionally good liar and a people pleaser to a fault. And not just with me. She'll tell people whatever they want to hear in the moment, seemingly with no intention of actually following up on whatever she promised. She's also a habitual liar that will tell strangers or acquaintances harmless things that just aren't true. Everyone can be guilty of this sometimes, but she does it all the time. Even in front of someone like me who knows it's not true. It's taken me a long time to realize this is just her personality now, and it may never change. She cheated on me before we were married, and it should have ended then. But I had no self-esteem at the time and was afraid of what life was like without her. We were both still in our early 20s, so I chalked it up to being young and her not dealing well emotionally with some personal issues she had at the time. 
I've always been somewhat afraid that it may happen again, but I've honestly had no suspicions or paranoia until the past 12 months. I questioned her last year after seeing some suspicious search suggestions on a tablet, but she did not admit to anything. Things have been off since then, and I had at least two conversations where I straight up told her that if she wanted to end her marriage and date other people, to just tell me. It would hurt me, but not as much as her potentially dragging our marriage out for another two years or ten years, etc. Before I find out something happened, I told her I didn't want to go through the turmoil the last affair put me through, nor waste any more of our time as she was done. I just wanted to leave and make the divorce as easy as possible. After coming close to divorce last year, she insisted she wanted to work on things, and I thought things were genuinely improving, until this last month. After finding proof of an emotional affair and her all but admitting it, we are finally divorcing. But again, that wouldn't be happening unless I confronted her. She would have let this go on forever for all I know. Even now, she still wants to say, I love you, and pretend as if we are still married. I'm currently trying to finish a degree before moving out of state to be with family, so we are separated but living together for the moment. Fortunately, we have separate bedrooms, and the basement is basically my floor to escape to. I just wish she would stop pretending our marriage is intact, while she is probably still talking to the affair partner. I can barely talk to her anymore because everything about her seems insufferable now, as if I am finally seeing her for the first time. I keep my cool in front of her, but I have the urge to hurt her in the way she has repeatedly hurt me, emotionally, not physically. She can't have it both ways, and the fact that she is getting her way, for the time being, is what is driving me mad. She gets to stay in the house we pay for together, while pursuing whatever is going with the affair partner. The best way to get back at her would be to physically leave, but we have a mutually beneficial living situation at the moment. I would be shooting myself in the foot to do that right now. It will happen soon, and I comfort myself with the thought that she will finally get her comeuppance. I am not staying again, and I don't think she will actually realize it until I am walking out the door. I've already cried about it. It's her turn. <laughs> One quick thought from the community before moving on. From Springfield, 2016. As most self-centered people find out, life alone eventually becomes a lonely life. Of course, your wife is young enough and she will have no problems getting dates, but finding someone to put up with her habits won't be so easy. She may, probably, will hook up with her affair partner, but he already knows she's willing to cheat. As long as she treats her significant other as an ATM, she will not find happiness. Move on and have a better life. And one more quick story to round out this episode. Pretty sure boyfriend, male 40, is cheating. I'm pregnant, and I'm panicking. Okay. So I'm a 39 female, 6 months pregnant, and my boyfriend, 40 male, of 2 and a half years, is acting really shady lately. I'm pretty sure he's cheating, but I have no definite proof, only suspicions. Texting way more often than before, always locked in the bathroom with his cell phone, texting as soon as I leave the room, and then stopping when I arrive. Seems way less interested to be in my company than before, less sex, etc. I talked to him about my suspicions and he brushed it off, swearing everything was alright. He found it almost funny, and said it looked like paranoia. And it could be paranoia. I mean, my pregnancy hormones are making me a bit crazy and clayey. He looked really honest. I talked about it a few more times, because there was always some new behaviors. New clothes, new hairdo, more hiding while texting, asking, Are you working at the office tomorrow? I regret bringing it up the first time, because I think I made things worse. He knows I don't trust him now. Our relationship is really shaky. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure I can handle a breakup during the pregnancy. And I'm still unsure if he's cheating or not. The only way to really confront him would be to have definite proof. But I don't want to snoop on his stuff. I'm so not like that. God, it sucks. Everything was great before I got pregnant. Anyone have been in a similar situation? Should I trust my gut and leave? Should I wait until the pregnancy is over? Should I put it on paranoia and try to live a normal life while trying to collect real evidence? Should I talk about it again? I'm panicking. I'm lost. Let's get a couple quick comments. Less, 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 less says, Both of you are full-grown adults. Next time you are seeing him texting, ask him to show you. Tell him you need him to be transparent because it's affecting your mental health during the pregnancy. I would tell him that going through the phone bill together would ease your mind. No games, no stooping around, just straight up doing your due diligence and looking for facts to quench your doubts. If he gets offended, he can go suck a lemon. Any normal man would be glad to put their pregnant significant other at ease to keep the peace, since pregnancy is already a roller coaster of feelings. Pirate UES says, agree with this, and if he is cheating, or if he deflects so much it makes you feel more sure he is, then I'd add that the only thing worse than breaking up while pregnant would be breaking up with a newborn. Please get support from any friends or family you can if you leave.